Hello for my friends, welcome to GDC English classes. So in this session, we are going to discuss regarding the adverse effects as well as clinical uses of chloroquine with the tricks nothing but mnemonics. Okay, so as we know chloroquine was anti-malarial drug. Chemically it is a, the chemical name is like 4 amino quinoline and chloroquine having commonly used anti-malarial drug. Okay, so here the adverse effects of chloroquine, so the adverse effects generally side effects of drugs because of its mechanism and adverse effects are generally because of uh, its overdose or long term usage. So adverse effects of chloroquine with the trick uh, poor HD. So generally chloroquine on high doses damages peripheral nervous system and decreases the nervous system functioning peripherally. And chloroquine on high doses causes ototoxicity, damage to the ear, maybe it disturb auditory tube as well as vestibular cochlea. And ocular toxicity, so this is a specific one of chloroquine, on high doses on, on long term use, chloroquine deposit in the eye and causes retinal damage, damage to the eye and it may cause a loss of vision also, especially if optic nerve, one of the cranial nerve present in the eye, if it is damaged. It leads to retinal damage, especially at the large doses. Next, hypotension. So, chloroquine on long term use develops cardiac arrhythmias, a abnormality in the heart rhythm, and even cardiac arrest also. So, stoppage of heart function. And uh, at the high doses, at the high doses, it can also produce the convulsion. So, especially it is contraindicated in epileptic patient. If the person having epilepsy along with malaria, Chloroquine does not prefer because of chloroquine may increase the severity of the epilepsy. That's why don't take anti-malarial drug chloroquine if the patient is having suffer patient is suffering from epilepsy as well as patient is suffering from epilepsy as well as malaria. Next, clinical applications. Next is the clinical application. So regarding the clinical application. The trick is malaria. So malaria generally meaning is bad air. And especially the chloroquine and some of the drugs like quinine, mefloquine, these drugs inhibit the heme polymerase enzyme. Due to inhibition of heme polymerase enzyme, these drugs increase the heme concentration. That heme concentration is toxic to the malarial parasite and kills the malarial parasite. So the applications of Clinical use of chloroquine with the trick malaria. So useful in the treatment of malaria caused by different species of plasmodium. And helps in the treatment of amoebiosis which is caused by entamoeba histolytica. And the specific drug for treatment of amoebiosis is metronidazole. And, and even this chloroquine also used in the treatment of uh, lepra reactions. Lepra reactions. Lepra reactions nothing but so these are the reactions absorbed after the treatment with anti-leprotic drugs and uh, chloroquine in the form of hydroxychloroquine helps in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis a type of autoimmune disease mainly distracts or affects the synovial joints and chloroquine also helps in the treatment of infectious mononucleosis so generally it is known as a kissing disease so generally transfer from one person to another person through the saliva especially happen during the kissing this is known as mono kissing disease kissing disease but this is not that much dangerous maybe generally most of the people get this disease but it will disappear easily <laughs> and even also used in autoimmune disorders like a discoid lupus erythematous which related to the immune system as well as a blood and uh, chloroquine is the safe in pregnant women if the pregnant women having malaria definitely they can go for chloroquine as well as usage of quinine but there should be a monitoring will be there. There should be a prescription by the doctor only. So this is simply the adverse effects as well as clinical uses of chloroquine along with the tricks that is simply mnemonic. So for like this interesting uh, videos, so subscribe to our channel GDC English Classes and share our channel. And as you know already that uh, GDC English Classes especially for the South India Pharmacy students we are ready to give coaching on GPAD, Drug Inspector, Pharmacist and other pharmacy related competitive exams in the English language. Do you know the quality as well as content of the GDC? And GDC is always ready for the students who are 
ready to achieve their dreams and goals in the pharma sector or pharma field. Thank you.